Welcome to Council Window. I'm here to talk about a common but often misunderstood plant, poison ivy. Let's dive into what it is, how it affects us, and most importantly, how to handle it. Poison ivy is mainly a plant found in North America. It's notorious for causing allergic reactions in many people, recognizable by its three leaf clusters. Poison ivy can grow as a vine or as a shrub and often has a glossy appearance. The leaves can turn red in the fall, but they're typically green during other seasons. The culprit behind the itchy, blistering rash, it's an oily resin called urushiol. This substance is found in all parts of the plant, leaves, stems, and roots. It binds to the skin cells, triggering an allergic reaction in about 85% of people. Symptoms usually appear 12 to 48 hours after contact and can include redness and itching, swelling where the affected area may become swollen, small fluid-filled blisters may form and may eventually break open. The rash often forms in a line or streak pattern, usually reflecting the contact points. If you've come in contact with this plant, here's how to treat it. It is important to immediately wash the area with soap and water. This can help remove the urochile before it binds to your skin. And remember, urochile is the oily substance that these three leaves plants have and the ones that cause uh, the poison ivy. It's very important to clean under the nails in order to avoid spreading the urochile to other parts of your body while you scratch. Cold compresses also play an important role. For this practice can help reduce itching and swelling. Over-the-counter creams and ointments, such as hydrocortisone cream, calamine lotion, or antihistamines can help soothe the itch and help reduce inflammation. And it's important to avoid scratching because the scratching can break the skin and further lead to other infections. Most poison ivy rashes can be treated at home. However, you should seek medical attention if the rash covers a large area of your body. Also, if you have a fever, the blisters are oozing pus, the rash is on your face or genitals. It is highly important to learn to recognize poison ivy and avoid it. Remember the saying, leaves of three, let it be. Wear long sleeves, long pants, and gloves in areas where you suspect poison ivy may grow. Special barrier creams may provide some protection if you know you will be in an area where there's poison ivy. Urochile, the chemical in the poison ivy plants, may stick to your clothes, pets, and outdoor gear. Wash everything thoroughly after being outdoors. If your pet has been in an area with poison ivy, give them a bath to remove any urochile that may be on their fur before you start petting them. Something to keep in mind, poison ivy is not contagious. You cannot catch poison ivy from another person, unless of course you touch the urochile on their skin or clothing. Also, it doesn't spread by scratching. The fluid in the blisters do not spread the rash. It's the urochile that causes the reaction, not the blisters fluid. Poison ivy can be a real nuisance, but with the right knowledge and precautions, you can minimize the risk and deal with it effectively. Remember, prevention is key, but if you do get a rash, prompt treatment can help you manage the symptoms and recover quickly. Thanks for watching Council Window. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.